Welcome back, our audience, to our weekly What's Happening and What's New um, with Art Speak, a collaboration between the Radcliffe Art and Design Incubator. And I want to welcome in Ray Elman. Thanks, Maggie. It's uh, it, it brightens my day every time we do, we do this and uh, sets me up for the rest of the day. So happy oh, to see you. you. Likewise, your energy, Ray, always on point. So let's talk about somebody who's a rising tenor. You know, I'm excited about the opera. We had a conversation offline about it. We have Limmy Pulliam, uh, Florida Grand Opera, which will be taking place at uh, the Broward Center and also the Arch Center. We want to mention, though, that um, lately we've been featuring um, opera singers and conductors. Is that correct? Through Miss Cindy Sadler, um, who is at the, at the Florida Grand Opera. That's right. And, and uh, Cindy reached out to me and we started uh, uh, realizing uh, how many, how much great talent the Florida Grand Opera was uh, bringing into South Florida and uh, the wonderful productions they have. Of course, they have a long history of doing so. Uh, I think it's over 80 years in South Florida. And when I'm, when we, we, we've attended a ton of operas in the last, just in the last few months. Um, and I'm always um, impressed with how good the audience looks. Like the people dress up for operas a little bit, they don't, they're not coming in uh, tuxedos, but they, uh, but they do dress up a little better than they do if you go to the average uh, uh, play or, or certainly if you're going to a movie house. Um, so it, it's been uh, wonderful to see the quality of what they're doing here. And the latest um, production, which will uh, open in January at both the Broward Center and at the Arts Center for the Performing Arts is uh, Pagliacci, which stars uh, Lemmy Pulian, who uh, is singing the lead role of Canio. And uh, we had the opportunity to interview let me a few days ago. Um, and what was um, what's kind of amazing, and, and this this links back to uh, we, we've two other opera singer um, interviews we've done. One was with uh, Cecilia Violeta Lopez, who is the, an American born daughter of Mexican immigrants who literally walked from Mexico up into to Rupert, Idaho, this tiny town of 5,000 people where she grew up. And you, she grew up uh, singing with her mother in the, in the sugar beet fields as they were hoeing, as her mother was hoeing uh, the, the fields and became an opera star, you know, and uh, she's extraordinary. And then another uh, opera singer that we interviewed is Arturo Chacon Cruz, who's also from Mexico. And he started off, as did Cecilia, singing mariachi music. And they demonstrated for us what the difference between mariachi and opera is, which happened to be fairly close in, 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 in <laughs> skill to sing the two. So Lily L L L L uh, Pulliam grew up in a tiny town of 11,000 people in Missouri. And unbelievably, uh, there was another singer in that town, Cheryl Crow. And Cheryl Crow's mother uh, taught Lemmy how to sing opera because he had he had a, a demonstrably fabulous voice as a, even as a young kid. And she taught him how to sing opera and she would accompany him sometimes. And he also, Cheryl Crow's a little bit older than Lemmy, but uh, they still remain friends. Um, and Lemmy went on to Oberlin College in, in Ohio where he learned opera. Um, and then he went out to be a professional, but at some point in that initial experience, he, he, he as he put it, I stopped having fun, and he decided he was going to give it up, uh, and he did for 12 years. He had a hiatus, uh, I think it was 12 years, uh, 
and uh, did other things. Um, and then a, uh, serendipitously, an opportunity came up to perform opera. And, and uh, he did and got back into it, found the joy in it, and he's been singing ever since. It's also worth noting he's the, the, the uh, son of a preacher and um, mm -hmm. grew up uh, singing uh, in the gospel choirs in his church. And he just uh, put out a CD of gospel music. So he's going to be in our area in January singing opera. But I think he's also going to be performing gospel music at the New World Symphony. So I'm going to see if I can combine uh, Lemmy singing with what's going on at the Hampton House, where they're, they've they been producing a lot of music, including they had Shaka Khan perform there. And maybe there'll be an opportunity for um, Lemmy to perform at the Hampton House, which would be really great. Seems very talented, has a great story. Um, great resume and, and rundown of, you know, things that that he's accomplished. And no surprise there that, you know, many of these great talents do come from parents, one, you know, being a preacher for the most part. Um, some of the big stars also came from families like that. And I should say, uh, all these people that we've interviewed and that we're presenting are very nice people too. So it's not just that they have talent, that they have... Uh, humility they have uh sweetness about them and it's been a joy to produce these interviews thank you ray can't wait to see you again next time maggie yes you can follow art speak on social media every week with something new and our 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 uh, website is at uh just type into your to your uh browser uh artspeak.fiu.edu thank you